Hi, Scott Orlin with Cinema Magazine. It is my pleasure to be standing next to, for the very first time, Mickey Sumner, who is the star of the new movie, Francis Ha. Interesting name. <laughs> it is. Like, it is. But doing that, I want to talk a little bit about your character, Sophie, because, you know, when we first meet her, she and Francis are these great roommates. Things happen and she has to move on with her life. Right. But they have such an interesting relationship. It's really about women and their, their friendship. Yeah, I think it's really a, a love story, a platonic love story between two friends who, uh, you know, sort of are moving at different paces in their life and they want different things at, a, at different times. And I think that can cause tension in a relationship and you sort of one person sort of drifts that way and the other person is drifting another way and at a different speed and I think you know you feel like you might be losing like your love of your life your best friend and but if it's a real friendship I think what you see in the movie is that you know it's always there you're always there for each other and, you know. and this is a Noah Baumbach film and he's very specific you know his characters are so richly drawn and Greta Gerwig is your co-star and they have an interesting relationship too. And how does that lend itself to a dynamic on the set when you have the act, the writers working with you and the director, everybody kind of all in place? Um, you know, it was uh, the script was already finished. It was it, it never changed when we were working. So Greta got to be the actress, and Noah got to be the director, and um, and it was a very uh, uh, you know focused. Um, works out very professional and everyone was just working really hard to like do that the best that they could. Does whatever New York specific. add something specific to the mix? Sure, it's a character in itself, you know, you have the buildings, you have the light, um, and you have the people, you know, we, we, we didn't close off streets or subway cars, it was just people coming on, people going off, people like look in the camera sometimes and we have to do it again ah uh, New York <laughs> yeah but it's like the it's a city and, it, and that energy like really uh, produces uh, this it's uh, I don't know, indescribable what New York has that other cities just don't and, um, and I think it's about the people the way they move the way they live the way they like just you know walk really hard and play really hard and yeah. Now when you look at this beautiful face, if it say, looks vaguely familiar, well, her mother is Trudy Styler and her father is Sting, and yet you're an actor. I so am. in all that creative mix, was there something inherent in you growing up that you just, did, there, that creative energy, it had to be some output, it wasn't going to be music, it wasn't going to be producing, um, this was your outlet? Well, my mother was an actress, so I, you know, that, it, it didn't go very far. I didn't, you know, I was never going to be a rocket scientist, sadly. Um, but I, I think I, you know, I was always inspired to um, express myself somehow, and uh, I, I knew deep down inside that acting was the, the best way to express myself. Well, we appreciate you sharing that Thank expression you very with us. Much. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Mickey. Really, and this is Scott Orland. Till next time.